So, you know how to weight paint, but you don't know where. Not a problem. In the next five minutes, you'll never fear painting anything ever again. All right, let's do this. If you've watched the last three videos, you'll end up right here. From this point, go to object mode, click on your skeleton, shift click the body, go to weight paint mode, and now you are going to paint your first draft of the skeleton. Now, set your weight to one and set your strength to one, and for every bone, mark red territory over any point you think might vaguely belong belong to it. Remember, you only have to do one side because it's mirroring everything. I recommend turning wireframe on for this, but if you want to select a new bone, hold control and left click the tail of that bone. You cannot click the base of the bone, only the tail. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. Anyway, do not spend more than three to five minutes on this draft. Paint without fear. It's a goddamn rough draft. Just paint away. Don't worry if it's not perfect. I promise that's normal. Alright, time for the detail, but before you start painting, go to object mode, select your rig, and go to pose mode. Pose your character in a way that tests all of the most important joint bends. Personally, I like this pose because it's great to see if your weight painting is working properly. After you have your pose, go back to object mode and click your skeleton. Shift click the body, go to weight paint mode, and now I will bestow upon you the super secret golden rule of weight painting. If at first your joints bend fugly, Click the bone next to it and apply 0.2 in between. This little trick has done me wonders. In fact, I'm so confident that I promise if you don't lose 5 pounds within your first week of using 0.2, I'll give you your money back guaranteed. Just look how easy this is. Weird knee? Not a problem. Funny toes? Not anymore. Pointy ass? Not on my watch. Weird elbows? Consider them fixed. If one click doesn't solve your problem, two clicks almost definitely will. But don't be afraid to use more. If you accidentally paint too much, you can always control Z your way back. Or if you really messed up, you can always use the subtract brush to remove territory completely. Basically, if a point follows a bone too much, make the bone next to it claim point two over it slowly until you are happy with what you see. You can always test your rotation by pressing the R key to see what it looks like moving around. But if you have IK for legs and arms, you'll You'll have to grab the IK bone and press G to test movement instead. Weight painting is totally subjective. There is no right or wrong way to do this. You are the only one that knows how you want your character to move. Because of this, your model almost definitely has points in different places than mine. So I don't think showing you how to paint my model point for point is going to help you much. But I'm going to show you what the final weight painting territories look like on my model to help give you some ideas what your territories should aim to be. And look at that beautiful joint bend in transitions if I ever saw them. Hope that helps you figure out how to smoothen the bends in your model. At the end, go back to pose mode, select everything, and press Alt-G, Alt-R, and Alt-S to revert everything back to normal. And that's it. You're done. The rest is up to you. If you find yourself having problems after this, consider going back and adding new vertices to help smoothen transitions between a few spots. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.